in the deepest, darkest place on our planet, an unexpected light cuts through. A light of life in one of the most inhospitable places on Earth, the deep sea. But the light is at risk of going out, and we all have our fingers on the switch. Deep seabed mining is a new industry that threatens this underwater world because it would destroy a fragile environment millions of years in the making. It's vital for people and nature that we stop it before it starts. So how exactly would deep seabed mining work? Who might benefit? And what do we stand to lose? Let's take a deep dive. Though it's right here with us on Earth, the deep sea seems out of this world. Covering around half our planet's surface, it's a largely unknown, uncharted world. Despite its many, many mysteries, we know this. It hosts spectacular wildlife, may hold medical breakthroughs, and plays an essential role in regulating our climate. In fact, our ocean locks away 25% of all carbon we emit, and 93% of the heat generated by greenhouse gas emissions. We also know this. If deep seabed mining is allowed, the damage would be felt for generations to come. Why? Deep seabed mining involves scraping the ocean floor up to 4 kilometers below the surface for metals and minerals, mainly to produce the batteries that power our gadgets and the current generation of e-vehicles. Mining companies want us to believe we have to trash the ocean to power the future, but this short-sighted solution is nothing of the sort. Deep seabed mining has the potential to enrich investors, but could unleash a wave of terrible consequences for our ocean and the people who depend on it. When the deep seabed is disturbed by heavy equipment, it releases the carbon that's been accumulating for hundreds of years. It also stirs up sediment that could choke wildlife even miles from the mining site. It could alter our ocean beyond repair. It could, but it won't if we don't let it go ahead. Right now, we still have the chance to keep the deep sea intact, though we only have a narrow window to make it happen. World leaders and decision makers around the globe urgently need to stop all deep seabed mining activities. Until we fully understand the impacts on people and nature, and until all other avenues for sourcing these metals and minerals are explored, no mining machines should touch this fragile environment. Instead, we need to invest in the next generation of battery technologies, as well as recycle the materials we've already mined. Scientists, communities, fishers, organizations, companies and governments who value the ocean are saying no to deep seabed mining. Our ocean faces many threats. This is one we can stop before it starts. And that's a bright idea.